I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers with this tropical update where we are watching a potential tropical system that's going to get better organized as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico. It is that system that you see there in the northwestern Caribbean, uh, just near the Yucatan Peninsula. As it moves northward into the Gulf of Mexico, it is going to get a little better organized. And right now, the National Hurricane Center giving this a high chance that this will become a tropical depression or a tropical storm. And 80% chance that's going to happen over the next seven days. 50% chance that'll happen just over the next two days. What we think will happen is that as this moves into the Gulf, the water there is very warm and the upper level conditions are more conducive for this system to strengthen. So here's a look at the spaghetti models. And again, these models are just kind of initiating a little bit more as this was just named as an invest uh, just recently here. So we're going to see more of these models kind of coming together here. Right now, the consensus pretty much takes it into the Big Bend region of Florida, into parts of southeast Georgia, and then up the coast there. If it veers closer to the metro area or more to the north, that would have more of an impact on us. If it goes more into the Florida Peninsula, then that would have more of an impact, I guess, on, as you know, on Florida and not as much on us. So there's that low that we're watching. This is the European model scenario as that center of circulation. You see that center of the circle right there in the Gulf of Mexico. As that moves north, it spreads this moisture into Florida. And depending on the eventual track, more northward toward Atlanta, that would give us more impacts. If it goes more to the east into more of the Florida Peninsula, that would impact them more. So it's really too early to know the exact track or strength of the system right now. The hurricane hunters are going to be flying into this system this weekend. It's going to be gathering valuable data that will help us more with this forecast, not only the track of the of the system, but also the strength of the system. And then that would then impact what type of impacts we could have here. There are a few other potential systems out in the Atlantic. Of course, we have Franklin. Uh, it is a, a tropical storm. Most likely it will become a hurricane and we think that'll stay away from the United States. And then a couple of other systems that we're watching as well um, uh, way out in the Atlantic, but they won't have any additional impacts on the United States. So we'll keep an eye on all of it for you here from the tropics and from the 11 Alive storm trackers. Be sure to watch on 11 Alive News on TV, also 11alive.com and all of your digital channels.